It's 5 p.m. in Korea, and we just got back from Yongdong. Uh, so here, we got fruits. So I'll be eating some. But I wanted to share, how do you get your visa? How do you go to Korea today? As of July 2022. So first of all, if you're an employee, or if you work in a company, or you're employed, what you need first is your application form. Second is, syempre kailangan mo ng passport that's valid for six months um after get your photo taken so you just say na it's for a korean visa that's they'll know the requirement so you need a photo um next what you'll need is uh, a photocopy of your bio page of your passport so basically yun you may picture mo with all your details like your passport details etc and if you've been to any oecd countries in the past five years photocopy um that part of your passport yung yeah that one <laughs> um it will help you in terms of having better chances of getting your visa approved next from the bank demand what you need is a bank statement and one more i'll add it here <laughs> and then from your company what you'll need is your itr and certificate of employment. So yun kunan yun na lang from your HR or whoever from the company that can provide that. So yun, that's basically what you need. For me, um, I did it through an agency. So my agency that I did was JTB and BGC. So it was around 700. But you can also do it on your own. So if you do it on your own, it's free. Like free, zero pesos. Um, usually, it takes five working days for it to process. So for me, I submitted all my documents to JTB ng Thursday afternoon. They applied for it ng Friday. I got it the week after, the Friday as well. So mabilis lang siya. Um, and then for what you have to do to get in, right? You have your visa already. Any requirements mo to enter Korea? So first of all is you need a PCR test or antigen test. 24 hours before your flight. And then, afterwards, um, you have to fill up your Q code. So, yung Q code, kailangan yun once you arrive in Korea. So, it has all the details. It has your passport details. It has your flight. And it also has your PCR or antigen test na dapat negative, of course. Thus, once you get here to Korea, well, here to Korea, you have to take another PCR test to make sure na, alam mo naman, negative tayo lahat. But I recommend us, ni Rick, we did it in the airport, pero we recommend na you reserve beforehand kasi medyo mahaba yung pila. Hello! We're going to get tested. You have to go outside. Seven eight. Are, Hi. You, are you ready for the heat? Three. Oui. Looks the same, no? Yeah, looks the same. Um, you reserve beforehand. Um, it's basically in Cheon PCR testing, and then you do it here. So for us, we did it Friday. The cost was around 80,000 won. So more or less mga 4 key, 4,000 pesos. Yeah. Tapos after that, once you get the negative results, you just re-upload it to your Q code. Tapos you're good to go. But you have to do it within 24 hours after you arrive in Korea. And then, okay na. So that's it guys. Enjoy your trip. Annyeonghaseyo! It's Hazel and we're currently in Korea! So I'll be giving a room tour of our hotel in Myeongdong. We're starting off with the entrance. And then we have our twin beds. Hi, Rick! Hi! So we have, Annyeong. Annyeong. We have this view. It's 
kind of dark, but it's a view of the other side of Myeongdong. So it's big enough for two people. And let me show you our bathroom. So we have a bathtub and I think it's a Japanese toilet, maybe? It's not, it's a normal toilet. <laughs> That's it! We forgot to end our video, bye!